Here's something you don't see every day, three-wheeled motorcycle. There have been three-wheeled bikes before, of course, but this one is really different. From there back, it's the Yamaha's 900 Tracer, which has been a real success for them, and rightly so, a fantastic motorcycle. But from here forward, it's got this dual front end on it, which has got two sets of telescopic forks, two wheels, two brakes, and it's unique because it allows the bike to bank up to 45 degrees and it's all controlled in here through these uh, arms, linkages and so forth which allow the forks to work independently of each other unlike a conventional fork which basically both legs go up and down exactly the same. These can actually work independently and it also allows the outside wheel in a turn, say that one, to follow a different arc to this one. It's called the Ackerman Principle and it's used in virtually all cars. But it means that one wheel is not scrubbing whereas the other one is pivoting. It means that they actually have different arcs. And it really does make a, quite a difference when you're riding it. You can feel it in the corners, particularly fast corners. You know, for all its odd looks, it's not what this bike does, it's what it doesn't do. And by that I mean, when you ride it, you don't have to make any adjustments because it's got two front wheels. You just ride it exactly the way you would ride a normal bike and you just let the uh, suspension technology do its thing. You notice it more in uh, the quicker corners because it, obviously at low speeds uh, you've got more rubber on the road, it can feel a little bit heavy in very low uh, speed cornering. But when you get tracking through corners it just, it's like it's on rails, it just turns into corners of its own volition, it goes through the corners and tracks out of the corners as straight as a die. Um, but even more impressive I found is actually the way the suspension works over rough surfaces. Because the, the front end is essentially a parallelogram that can act in that plane, you can get one fork leg you know, at a longer extension to the other one. So one can be hitting a pothole, and the other one can be on a smooth surface. And what it does is it just smooths everything out. It really is quite remarkable over uneven surfaces. And of course you've got the power of the double discs and the, uh, and, the, and the bigger contact patch if you multiply it by two on the road, stopping is, is sensational. You wouldn't think that a, a bike as unusual looking as this could be such a complete package, but it, it really is. The Yamaha Nikon is an incredibly well thought out and highly engineered motorcycle. Um, I mean, they've used a great base being the, uh, the Tracer 900, which is just a superb motor and it's got a longer swinging arm and a bit bigger rear tyre and that sort of thing but it's essentially it is half of a 900 Tracer but the front end of course is totally different uh, you won't believe the amount of double takes you get from riders coming the opposite direction they almost fall off looking at you but it is very impressive motorcycle you can read the full test report of the Yamaha Nikon in issue 78 of Old Bike Australasia magazine. And don't forget to check out our website for more motorcycle and gear reviews at oldbikemag.com.au.